Gus Bradley's cover three defense has become an issue. We're going to discuss that today. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sanji, back at it with another video. When you watch this play right here, Jonathan Abram is 13 yards away from the line of scrimmage, and he is responsible from the flat to the curl flat, and this is a very easy check down for Patrick Mahomes to read. Now, is that Jonathan Abram's fault, or is this the scheme that's putting him in a specific situation? See, here's one of the issues I have with this defense. You're basically splitting the field into threes. Your two corners and your post safety have to split the defense into threes, which means if one of your corners gets beat, it's a touchdown. Take this play as an example. McCool Hardman runs a stop and go. Trayvon Mullen falls for it and he falls down. And this is a touchdown had Yannick Ngakwe not hit the quarterback. We got lucky we only saved it to about a 45 yard gain. But this is one of the issues with that cover three shell, that cover three defense. Now we don't want to cover three out of this shell every single time there is one other play we can run and that's a cover one rat or a cover one man to man see the kansas city chiefs did a great job motioning every single play to know exactly what the raiders are doing the fact that trayvon merrick is lined up on travis kelsey and when kelsey comes down into the motion merrick follows him you know it's a man-to-man -man situation so now all you have to do is run a pick play with kelsey on your linebacker and you have a wide open running back this is elementary football. The more tape that I watch, the more I realize that this Gus Bradley defense is not going to work in the long run. And it actually makes sense. With the Seattle Seahawks, it was great in the beginning, but it started fading off. When Gus was with Jacksonville, it never worked. Then when Gus got to the Chargers, they were the number one defense in year one, and it slowly faded off to where they were a bottom 10 defense by the time he left. And that's kind of happening with the Raiders. If you look at some of our defensive rankings from week one to nine, the Raiders were the 15th best defense, giving up only 23.6 points per game. However, after week 10, we are now the 31st ranked defense, giving up 27.7 points per game. We've literally went from being average to one of the worst defenses in the NFL. Max Crosby's pass rush grade has went from the second best to the sixth. Yannick Ngakwe has went from the 13th best to the 87th. And this is kind of what's been happening with the rest of the defense as well. Guys are grading worse now than they were in the beginning of the season. And truth be told, the tape kind of backs that up as well. Like we've been terrible the past couple of weeks. Now, if you have a good pass rush, the defense could theoretically work, but I don't think it's a sustainable defense. Take this play as an example. At a given point, a zone play will eventually turn to man to man. If you're covering a flat and a guy goes into the flat, you stick with that guy. If you're covering a mid hook, and a receiver runs into that mid hook, you run with him. Take this play as that example. KJ Wright ends up running with Tyreek Hill. Our slowest player on defense is running with their fastest player on offense. Third and 17 and we give it up because this is what our scheme comes down to. And in my opinion, I don't know if Gus Bradley is the guy that the Raiders should roll forward with. I know a lot of people have mentioned that the Raiders should potentially just bring in a head coach, an offensive minded coach, and let Gus Bradley run the defense. But I don't know if his simple scheme will work. In today's NFL, it seems like guys like Bill Belichick are running multiple defense, 3-4, 4-3, man-aligned zone coverages. Pretty much whatever works to stay up with these RPOs and these new high-powered offenses, the Belichick, Flores, Stanleys of the world are adjusting while the Gus Bradleys of the world are running the 2010 defenses that may not work anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Is Gus Bradley's defense an issue? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button. Smash that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time with another video.